Hey everybody, Amy here with 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida. I need your help. I didn't want to do this, but I need your help. Desperately. I just pulled into Lauderdale Veterinary Specialist. This is regarding Dalton, the little tiny Chihuahua mix that I received a call from a doctor here at Lauderdale Veterinary Specialist begging me, begging me to help this dog that was brought into their hospital after being hit by a car and just left here with no owner. Hi, is Tiffany here? Thank you, thank you. So I just walked into the hospital. Just bear with me. Hi, buddy. Hi, you've been through so much. So much you've been through. Hi, hi, sweet face. Hi, Dalton. I know. All those eyes, I can't. Oh, sweet baby. So, listen, um, I received a call. I'm going to close the door. Am I clear, guys? Please let me know I'm clear. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. I just got up because he got antsy. I don't know. Okay. Hi, baby. Thank you. <clears throat> so, I'm going to start from the beginning. I received a call from a doctor that works here at Lauderdale Veterinary Specialist about this dog, Dalton. I had never touched him. I had never laid eyes on him. She called and begged me, begged me to take this dog. They were going to euthanize him after she stabilized him after he was hit by a car. Severe trauma. Um, he needed an FHO surgery to repair his leg. He had a broken pelvis and she stabilized him. So they did not have a surgeon here, uh, which they will have in a couple of weeks at the hospital that I'm standing in, which is Lauderdale Veterinary Specialist in Fort Lauderdale. We immediately, um, I reached out to Tiffany and she picked him up from here and rushed him to Coral Springs Animal Hospital with all his records. They, um, per they performed the surgery, which was a success on his um, FHO. And they said that his pelvic would heal um, without needing further surgery. So as I was receiving calls every day on updates on Dalton, I was being told by the surgeon at Coral Springs Anim Coral Springs Animal Hospital that um, his urinating was not as a, a, a stream, a strong stream as they would like, and that could be from swelling. Um, as time has been going on, he is urinating, but it is, again, not the perfect stream that they want. So there's trickling pee. Um, they tried to place a catheter in him several mm -hmm. times without success. It huh? It and it leaks. It's leaking urine. So they think, the, doc, the surgeon from Coral Springs did not think there was a tear, but she tried to go in with a catheter and she could not get in. Um, so she didn't know if it was from swelling or whatnot, but they wanted to perform another procedure and they called me wanting another $5,000. And I was like, are you kidding me? Where is the heart? Where is the compassion? Um, we are a struggling rescue trying to make a difference in these lives. And we stepped up for him because she said nobody else would when they reached out to other rescues. Those were the words of the, the doctor here from LVS. Um, I was beside myself yesterday. Um, I didn't know what to do. And I reached out to Dr. Cannon, who is our criticalist here. She's a specialist at Lauderdale Veterinary Specialist. She knows Dalton because she met Dalton before he was taken by us from here to Coral Springs. Um, she said to me, Amy, get him over here, get him here. So 
that's what we're doing here now. We're praying that Dr. Cannon can figure out what's going on. He may need surgery. And if that's the case, then we're going to use our wonderful surgeon, Dr. Babetsky, who has done so many surgeons on our critical dogs with such amazing success. She's one of the best. And she is now a traveling surgeon. Um, she also does surgery out of VCA Imperial Point, which is one of the hospitals that we use. And it's always about the money, Diane, always about the freaking money. And I want you all to understand, I want you to look at this face and I want you to put yourself in my place, in Tiffany's place, in my team's place. And I want to know if you would be able to make a decision after you saved his life, you've performed an FHO surgery, um, we've spent 6000 on him. That is not, the, that I'm not mentioning that for any other reason, is to let you know what we've invested into saving his life. And to the thought of euthanizing this boy and uh, not going forward and giving him a chance at whatever he needs, I'm asking you, would you be able to euthanize this dog? I'm asking. So we're looking at a possible... It is not ethical. It is not ethical. I let them know how I felt yesterday um, at the other hospital, Coral Springs. I was very upset. I let the surgeon know. I told the surgeon that it is not her fault. I understand she does not make the call. I am so disappointed. I am so disgusted. Um, I'm not saying or, 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 or this has nothing to do about the care. Um, or the medical attention that they give our dogs, but I want to know where is the heart and where is the compassion for these dogs and for rescues that are trying so hard to save these innocent lives that have nobody but us. He is seven, eight pounds. That's what he weighs. Seven to eight pounds. That's what they told me. Okay, nine pounds. He, they told me he's under 10 pounds. That's what the surgeon told me. So with this being said, I am going to beg you. I am going to beg each and every one of you. There are 138 people on this video right now. He, Deborah, we don't know if he's going to be okay. He, he may need another surgery. We need to be prepared for another four to five thousand dollars to give him what he needs and that chance we've already invested our hearts, our souls, $6,000 for an FHO repair. And I, I can't even the, the fathom the thought of euthanizing this dog because of a possible tear that can be corrected, which may cost four to $5,000. Can you? Can you? I'm asking you, can you? This is me, Amy. I am looking at his eyes. Tiffany is holding him. Tiffany picked him up. Tiffany dropped him off. Tiffany picked him up and is bringing him back here to give him every single chance there is at a life of quality. We've done this a million times. Isn't that what 100 plus is about? This is what we are. This is who we are. This is what we stand for. I can't, I can't euthanize this dog. I can't. And the doctor said, Amy, whichever way you decide to go, I support you. What do you mean? How can you support euthanizing this dog without giving him a fair chance? Because nobody wants to have any heart and be able to help us financially. I mean, are you kidding me? You're going to charge our organization another $5,000 on top of $6,000 on a dog that we stepped up for because... The hospital was going to euthanize and no other rescue would step up and no person would step up. Is it his fault that he was let down by humanity, crossing a road, getting hit by a car and then dumped here to die? Prayers are beautiful and I appreciate it, but prayers are not going to help this dog. They're not going to save this dog's life. And I'm asking everybody to donate something. I'm begging of you because I want to save him. I want to give him the chance. The PayPal link is up. You know I only do this when I have to. This is the only way. It's always about the mighty dollar. You're right, you're absolutely right, and it's disgusting. I don't know what has happened to humanity. I don't, I don't know if they become desensitized. I don't, I don't understand.
Lori, I, I started the video. This is about Dalton. Um, Pauline Dunbar has put up a $50 challenge. Mabel is donating $300 right now. These are our two donors that are always right there when I'm asking and begging. And I love you. And I thank you so much, Mabel and Pauline. And Donna, for all of you that are taking this challenge, Polly, $100, please, please, no, nobody, nobody's donating their time. No, you can ask this question over and over again. I get it. No, Carol, $100, please. Please, I'm begging you. I have zero freaking pride. Zero. Mm -hmm. Paula is meeting Pauling's challenge for $50. Mm -hmm. I am not going to let this little boy down. He is sitting here with a cone. He just went through major surgery. He's been poked. He's been prodded. He's still walking around with a syringe hanging out of his front paw. Okay, he's been through so much. So please mm -hmm. look into his eyes. If he could talk, do you think he would not be asking all of you to please donate for him? Do you think he would not say, please give me this chance? Please don't let me go without fighting for my life. I know if he could talk, that's okay. what he'd be saying. It's okay. I told you. And God gave me a voice for a reason. And my voice is for them. That is what I have dedicated my life to. Hi there. Hi. So I'm begging all of you, please donate for Dalton. I'm waiting for the doctor to come in and I will update you just as soon as I have more information. This is Amy with Dalton and Tiffany, 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida, and his life depends on all of you. Thank you.